Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicola and here I like to create content about trying out new recipes, tasty fast food, specifically for one or two people. It's just what I like to do. Today I want to share one of my favourite kitchen things with you. It is the Morphe Richards Compact Soup Maker. Now, when I first heard about this thing, I was like, why would anybody need a soup maker? I mean, you chop vegetables, you put them in a pot, you pour some stock on, boom, half an hour, an hour later, you have soup. And I am very pro-gadget, like I will buy any piece of kitchen kit going, but I could never see the need for this. And then 2020 arrived. So during the first lockdown here in Ireland, I ate my boredom, ate my feelings, gained 20 pounds, and was not happy. So I turned to YouTube, started following people who did weight loss content, what I ate in a day, recipes, and every second person seemed to have a soup maker. And suddenly I saw what was exciting about them. Like any person who consumes social media, I got influenced and now I own one. So I trolled Amazon, found this particular one. She arrived, I have used it every single day since, and I have zero regrets, like zero. So the particular model that I chose is the Morphe Richards brand and it is the compact soup maker. So this is specially designed for smaller families. It makes two to three portions of soup in a cycle and it's just perfect. Like for me, it's ideal because if I had gotten the larger family size one, that would have made maybe six or seven portions of soup, which is just too much when you live on your own. Because one, I don't want to eat the same soup every day for like five days. And two, if I freeze it, it just, stays there. It's the freezer is where stuff goes to die in this house. So this is ideal. So basically what it is, is a mini pressure cooker with an immersion blender. So you put all your food in, it blends it, boils it, cooks it, everything. And this particular version has four settings. Now I know there's a new one out and it also sautés. So you can put in your vegetables and it will sauté them and then cook and blend. So my one has four settings, like I said. We have a smooth setting, a chunky setting, a drinks setting for doing smoothies, and then a blend, just if you need to kind of blend, I guess. So basically what it is, is it's a stainless steel jug, and then it has a lid with an immersion blender on it. And it just clips together like that. And that's it, you're done. Like, how amazing is that? So I thought today that I would make one of the soups I'm currently enjoying in this, just so you can see it from start to finish. So we're gonna be using this smooth function today, which cooks your soup in 19 minutes. So that's amazing, just enough time to make a toasted sandwich, which I'll probably also do. And then we'll have soup at the end. So yeah, come with me while I make lunch with my new favorite gadget. So today I'm going to be making a curried apple and parsnip soup. So I have half a pint of water, two parsnips, a tiny piece of cauliflower, a medium cooking apple, a small onion, and then for my spices, I have some garam masala, some curry powder, parsley, and a stock cube, and some salt and pepper. Then for my toasted sandwich, I have some sourdough bread, mustard, ham, cheese, and I have a tomato somewhere, and I'm going to keep some of the onion back from the soup. I start prepping the soup by peeling and roughly chopping all the vegetables. Nothing fancy, just cut them into nice big chunks. Then I measure out my spices into just a little dish so I can throw them in. So I have my curry powder, garam masala, salt and pepper. So here we have all of our vegetables that are chopped and ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is put them all into the jug part of the soup maker. So you can see on the outside, there's a min and a max setting and that's embossed into the stainless steel so it'll never wash off or rub away. And because it's embossed, you can actually also see it on the inside of the jug, which is really handy when you're filling it. So now I have all of my vegetables in the jug. You can see they are just thrown in there up as far as the min mark. And now I'm gonna to toss my flavorings and spices in on top and then throw in my stock cube and pour on my water. So when I pour on the water, I want to make sure it is between the min and max marks. 
So I find that if I fill vegetables to the min mark and then pour in half a litre of water, that takes me right up to the max. So now all that's left to do is pop the lid on. So you might need to give it just a little bit of a jiggle so that the blender can go down past the vegetables and you're ready to go. Okay, so we are making a smooth soup today. As you can see, we have four different functions. We have smooth, chunky, drinks and blend. So we're going to choose smooth and then press start. And it gives a little beep to let you know when it's ready to go. And you'll see there we have 19 minutes on the timer. So just enough time to prep our toaster sandwich and clean up the kitchen. Okay, so the grill is on and preheating and now it's time for me to put together a sandwich. So I have sourdough bread, tomato, ham, cheese, um, mustard and a little bit of onion. So just slice tomato and the bread, get everything ready, a little bit of butter, a little bit of mustard, layer it all up and then whack it in the toaster. Just to go through this, why the soup maker is one of my favourite things right now. It's not just because it's quick and convenient, easy to make soup in, and actually really easy to clean up. So just a heads up, it's not dishwasher safe. You cannot just throw it in the sink with everything else and wash it up. You do have to kind of like maneuver it around the tap. Yeah, you can't submerge it into like a basin of water or anything because obviously these are electric components, but it does clean up really, really quickly. So there are all the practical benefits of it. But what I like about it is I get to have a tasty soup for my lunch every day with minimum effort. I don't like to eat vegetables. I'm not a great vegetable eater, so I now have them in soup format, which is really, really helpful for me. Soup and toasted sandwich is one of my favorite meals in the entire world. So now I get to have my favorite meal every day. Um, plus, it's just, it's nice. You know, would it be my favorite thing if it was July right now and not November? Probably not, but you know, I'm fickle, I'm okay with that. But right now, I love it. Okay, so our 19 minutes are up. Toasted sandwich is golden and delicious, and my cheese is all melted. Let's throw it on a plate. Our soup is ready, so you can see the little timer has gone off. Just lift the lid, and there we have it. Soup is made. So you can see that it's hot and delicious, really smooth, really creamy. By the way, I think adding the cauliflower makes it really, really creamy. So that's something I might try again. It's just gonna pour it now into my little soup mug and you can see how smooth and creamy it is. It looks delicious. So there we have it. A little bit of parsley just to make it look fancy and onto my lunch tray. So I have my soup, my sandwich and a Sharon fruit, it's per persimmon. I'm not sure, I've never had one before but I'm trying it today. So that's it, lunch from start to finish in like 20 minutes, including the kitchen cleaned. Um, I just wanna say it was delicious. I highly recommend this. Thank you so much for watching guys.